Welcome back into the shop everybody. In the last video I was mentioning that with these boards here I wanted to do something a little bit special. As I begin to actually cut some pieces to their final length I start to think of ideas and one of the things that I noticed right off the bat I noticed just how plain these pieces right here looked. Sure there's a bevel right here and there's going to be some pieces coming up in this Whoop for lack of a better term, was, was boring. Okay, if there's a section of a project that is boring, what are some things that I could incorporate into it that could make it more visually appealing or just better looking to the eye? I started to think about angles. I started to think about different species of wood that I could incorporate into the project. I also thought about shadows and how those could be incorporated into a piece. And rather than just joining two pieces of wood together, how could I do it in a way where it's visually appealing and that there's other interests on top of that? Last year, about December-ish, where I, I think it was for a Christmas project, I wanted to incorporate some carving into a project that I was giving someone, and I purchased a couple of carving sets. These are not anything super fancy. They are by FlexCut. I did a little bit of research before I purchased these, and these seem like the best bang for the buck. So I got two sets here, uh, one set was of the smaller, uh, the ones that fit in your palm, because you have so much control with those, I'm, I'm just speaking from a little bit of experience that I have, these are also really, really nice here, um, just the, the form factor in that handle, man, it, it's just really nice, and when you're holding these for, you know, an hour or two on end, trying to carve something, it, uh, it's just really important that those are right. This set that I got over here of six, these are just some gouges, I think is what they're called. And similar to those, these handles are just perfect. I've actually learned that the shape of an octagon is the best shape for your hand to actually grip because round is good, but with an octagon, it actually fits into the the angles of your hand. So what my plan is with these is to actually do some texture carving on these pieces right here. This whole section right here is going to be sitting on the floor and the light from the window in the room it I, it'll look good. I, I just have this vision of being able to look down on the ground and see the texture wrap around on both sides here. Now I can understand that this might be something extra and something that isn't necessarily needed or maybe in the future if I want to do some more in-depth carving or something more intricate this is a great project to practice that and practice my skill in using these tools the first thing that I need to do before I begin to carve is actually do the layout for the mortise and tenons that are going to go on these pieces right here so I have my quarter inch chisel and I set my marking gauge to a quarter inch. And that means I can carve all the way up to that line and then that last bit will be where my tendon begins.
right, you guys, that is going to do it for today's video. I do hope that you guys enjoyed it. I think that spending the time and putting in the effort to just do this little bit of extra detail, I know you probably can't see it well right now, is it going to be something that really sets this piece apart and makes it really something special. So I started out with just one of these, and I think just this board right here took me about 45 minutes to do. And then I think the second one took me maybe 25 minutes or a half hour. And then this longer one, the longer, I think this is 46 inches. Huh, I think it was about an hour and 15 minutes if I could roughly estimate how long it took. So there's definitely some time spent in this, but I think like I said, in having the shadows and because it's lower on the ground, it's just something that you might not catch right away. But I think if you look at it a little bit closer and then you see like all the fine intricate texture, I think that's going to be really cool. So in the next video, we are going to be starting the joinery for this. They are going to join right in here with the walnut billets. And then from there, we are going to then start on the upper portion where the rods are actually going to sit in place. So that is going to do it for today's video. I do hope that you guys enjoyed it. It was something a little bit different, a little bit special, and I think maybe in sharing it with you guys, there might be some inspiration there to just take your projects to the next level. I know that the carving wasn't exactly intricate or finely detailed or anything, but it just shows that I put in a little bit of extra effort to push it to that next level. I did get a lot of wear on my hands over the last couple hours in doing this, but I'm, I'm glad I did it. So with that being said, I do hope that you guys enjoyed it and I will see you guys in the next video.